Three's a crowd. Ada and her best friends, Joanne and Carly, had been inseparable since primary school. The three had shared so much. However, as they grew older, Ada began to feel that she was being left out of their inner circle. It started with small things, like Joe and Carly making plans without her, or neglecting to invite her to events. Ada tried not to take it personally, but it was difficult not to feel hurt. She wondered if she'd done something wrong, or whether they were simply growing apart. One day, Ada decided to confront Joanne and Carly about how she was feeling. She didn't want to accuse them of anything, but needed to express her concerns, and see if they could work things out. To her surprise, Joe and Carly were both defensive, and dismissive of Ada's feelings. Told her that she was being too sensitive, and that they were still her friends, but they just had other things going on in their lives. Ada tried to brush it off, and continue hanging out with them, but she couldn't shake the feeling that she was no longer a priority to her friends. She started to distance herself from Joe and Carly, hoping that they would notice and make an effort to include her more. But as time went on, Ada realized that she didn't need Joanne or Carly to feel validated or content. She had other friends, who appreciated her, and valued Ada's company. She also started to pursue her own interests and hobbies, such as creative writing, reading, and gardening, all of which gave her a sense of fulfillment and purpose. Eventually, Joe and Carly noticed that Ada was no longer as present in their lives, and reached out to her. They apologized for their behavior, and promised to make more of an effort to include her in their plans. Ada appreciated their apology, but she also knew that she didn't need their validation or approval to be happy. She had learned to value herself and her own worth, and that was the most important thing of all. From that day on, Ada continued to live her life on her own terms, surrounded by people who loved and appreciated her for who she was.